To find President Trump returning to blaming both so-called sides for the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, he insisted, quote, there are two sides to every story and argued that alt-left protesters, in his words, came charging at the alt-right protesters. And, by the way, he kept repeating that they did not have a permit, even though the alt-right protesters who did have a permit violated the terms of their permit. The president also said that some very fine people were at uh, the white supremacist rally. As for why he waited until Monday to denounce the hate groups uh, by name, Here's what he said this afternoon. I didn't wait long. I wanted to make sure, unlike most politicians, that what I said was correct, not make a quick statement. The statement I made on Saturday, the first statement, was a fine statement. But you don't make statements that direct unless you know the fact. It takes a little while to get the facts. You still don't know the facts. And it's a very, very uh, important process to me, and it's a very important statement. So I don't want to go quickly and just make a statement for the sake of making a political statement. I want to know the facts. Yes. I think today he said exactly what he felt, and we all saw it. Yeah, that, the day that's before, what was so fascinating. Right. right. The day before, it was a wooden, very scripted, very stiff, no emotion. Today, the yeah, emotions someone on, were on Twitter out. called it a hostage video yesterday. I mean, that's, basically... <laughs> I mean, that's what it looked like. It looks like he was forced, and guess what? Take a look at what some of the neo-Nazis are saying about his speech. Thank because you, yeah, one of them you, just put a new statement out that I just saw, just came into my email. He says, Why Trump defends Charlottesville's Nazis against Jew media lies, condemns Antifa terrorists. He will not be blackmailed into condemning his base. So there you go. That's how neo-Nazis see President Trump. They are clapping for him and saying, he's giving us a thumbs up, y'all. We're good. No, actually, they're clapping for you because you're buying into what they're trying to do. They they're are not clapping for Sarah Seidner. You they better are. take that back. No, I won't take it back because what they're doing is you just gave them a platform. You just read their entire message of oh, hate. I didn't. And, yeah, you should see their message. You, their just, message is really strong, and okay. their message gets right. out to hundreds of thousands of people. So I'm not giving them a platform. Actually, their platform you, you just gave them. Actually, no. When you read the idea that their platform record, she didn't say the person's name I didn't or their say the Twitter person's account. name, and I didn't give their account, but I am telling you that this is how white supremacists and neo-Nazis are reading the president's no, it's comments. Not. It's how they're... How, it's, uh, how do you know? Do you read their, their comments? I do don't. You, have you talked to them? I don't. Because no, I, I have. Haven't. I've spent time with them. Well, congratulations. This past week, I'm glad you I've spent, spent time with racists, but them. let me tell you, I have spent time with Anderson, them and talked to them like because to I'm here. interested. I'm interested in actually what they think and what they're saying so that we can learn how to try and change minds and bring That's people great. together. I'm, okay? I'm proud that you talked to okay. racists. But Anderson, this is the point that I've been trying to make, which I haven't been able to make because nobody lets me talk on this on the show or on this panel. The point is, this is different. When you are talking about something as so divisive as, as the racial issues that we have in this country, the president wanted to take the time to make sure you had all of the facts because every single word mattered. You, uh, you were actually saying with a straight face that this president cares about getting the facts right before speaking, before tweeting about Anderson, something? Anderson, what I'm talking about... About wiretapping in, in the Trump those Tower? Those things are about, different. Th Here's, that doesn't matter? Really no, accusing what, what the former I'm, president of what wiretapping? What I'm saying is this is a different issue. It's a uh, racial issue. The, the, you know what? Everyone talked about the Merck right. CEO, the you, Merck CEO uh, resigning. Every time they said that, who happens to be African-American, the Merck CEO, who happens to be African... But when the rest of the CEOs resigned, I didn't hear people say... Who happens to be white? How many of them did he attack? Right. How many of them did he attack? How many of them actually the did he attack by name? Did he attack the black one or the rest of them? He attacked the first one. And actually, he talks about the fact that it was re reducing pre prescription drug prices. He, he, he did go after he the man who happened to be African. He called Kim Frazier by name. But, but, and the fact that the, he was African-American, we cannot deny that.